Hello friends, in this video, I will show you how to derive equations of motion using graphical method. Equations of motion are set of equations which relate various parameters of motion for a body moving with constant acceleration. First of all, we will see how the plot between velocity and time for such motion looks like. In this case, velocity changes equally in equal intervals of time. Therefore, relationship is a linear one. Let at time t equal 0, the velocity is u and at time t equal to t, the velocity becomes v. We can now proceed to derive the first equation of motion. Acceleration can be found by calculating the inclination of the curve, which is given by tangent theta in the triangle formed. Tangent theta, as we all know, is perpendicular over base, which is v minus u over t, transposing which we get v equals u plus a t as our first equation of motion. For the second equation of motion, we will be calculating displacement. Displacement is given by the area under velocity time graph. We will be calculating this area as sum of two figures, a triangle and a rectangle. The triangle has a height v minus u and base t and the rectangle has length equals t and width equals u. Using the formula for areas, we get s equals half v minus u into t plus ut. Now we can use our first equation of motion to substitute v minus u as a t. This leaves us with the second equation of motion s equals ut plus half a t square. For the third equation of motion, we will again be calculating displacement, which is given by area under the curve. But now we will calculate the area as a single entity alone, which is a trapezium. This trapezium has parallel sides u and v and height equals t. Therefore, by using the formula for area of trapezium, which is half into sum of parallel sides into height, we get s equals half into v plus u into t. We will again eliminate t by using the first equation of motion, which leaves us with 2as equals v square minus u square as our third equation of motion. So this was how you can calculate three most important equations of motion using graphical method. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like and see if you can subscribe to this channel. I will see you in the next one.